Hey guys, it's me, Leo, from Book of Reading, and I'm back with another book. And this time, it's something new, and not from the Pony Scouts. This book is called Boros Tortillas, by Terry Fields, illustrated by Sherry Rogers. Boros Tortillas, by Terry Fields, illustrated by Sherry Rogers. Rogers. Once upon a time, not so long ago, a little burrow saw that a corn had grown very tall, and right away he thought, tortillas. He called his friends, wine, ah, oh, ah, uh, ah, oh, mis amigos, ven gan aquí, the bobcat, the coyote. And the jackrabbit came immediately. Amigos, look at all this wonderful corn," said the burro. "Who will help me pick the corn so we can make tortillas?" "Yo no," said the bobcat. "I'm too cool a cat to pick corn." "Yo no," said the coyote. "I am taking a coyote break." "Yo no." Said the jackrabbit, "I've really got to hop along. Then I will pick the corn myself." The little burrow said to himself, and he did. He picked so much white corn that he could hardly carry it home on his back. When he got home, he gathered his friends again. Amigos, I have picked the corn. Who will help me remove these kernels? Ye no, yo no," said the bobcat. "Scratch me from that job." Yo no," said the coyote. "I'm doing trickier things." Yo no," said the jackrabbit. "I'm having a bad hair day." Then I'll remove the kernels myself," said the burro. And he did. He took the corn and removed all the kernels from the cob. Then he gathered all, all the kernels, boiled them with lime, rinsed them off, and set them aside to dry. Little Burrow looked at his hard work. He had done a lot, but there was still much to do before the corn became tortillas. Wine ah ah ah! He called. The corn is ready to be ground into flour. Who wants to use the grindstone first? Yo no," said the bobcat. "I'm too busy growling." Yo no," said the coyote. "I'm too busy howling." Yo no," said the jackrabbit. "I'm too busy being all ears." The burrow sighed, for he was really tired, but also, but he was also stubborn. Fine. Uh, then I will grind the corn myself. And he did. He stood over the metate and used the pestle to grind the corn. When he finished, he called amigos. The corn is ground. Who will help me make la masa? It is not much work as grinding. And if you want, you can growl or howl or listen to. Or listen while you do it. Yo no, yawned the bobcat. I'm catching a little catnap. Yo no, yawned the coyote. I'm already counting sheep. Yo no, yawned the jack rabbit. Here now, gone to siesta. The very tired burrow wanted to take a nap too, but he didn't. He made little balls of dough. This time he didn't even call his friends when it when it was time to put each ball into la torte la tortillera to flatten it into a tortilla shape. When he was finished, the burro looked down at his result of all his work and smiled. His mouth was watering. Very soon he could eat tortillas more deliciosa, but first he had to get them into the griddle before the dough dried them. Uh, he called for his friends. Whiny, ah, ah, ah! 
amigos, you're not so old. And we are at the last step. Who will help me cook the tortillas? His friends gathered around. Yo no, said the bobcat. I'm too perfect to cook. Yo no, said the coyote. It is not my territory. Yo no, said the jackrabbit. Even the idea is hair raising. Then I'll cook them myself, said the little burrow. And he did. He put each flask on the griddle and turned it over and over until it was fully cooked. Soon he had a big basket filled with fresh tortillas. They looked wonderful, and they smelled even better. And when he turned. Around the little burrow, didn't have to call Bobcat, the coyote, or the jackrabbit. They were already standing right there. He looked at all of them. They only looked at the basket of freshly made tortillas. Who will help me eat all these tortillas? Asked the burrow. Yo, said the Bobcat. I'm primed to pounce. Yo, said the coyote. The scent is super. Yo," said the jackrabbit. "Hairs looking at you. Let's see." As the little burrow reached for the tortillas to share with his amigos, he paused, and he thought, and then he said, "You did not help me pick the corn. You did not help me shell the corn. You did not help me boil the corn with life. You did not." Help me grind the corn. You did not help me make la masa. You did not help me make the tortillas. And do you know what? Thank you, but I do not think I need any help to eat them. And he did it. The end. I hope you enjoy this book. Burros tortillas. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.